Hello everyone, welcome to Decode ITES. This is a single learning platform for multiple IT infrastructure technologies. Do like, share and subscribe our channel to never miss out our videos. Let's continue with the learning. Let's have a small introduction of myself. My name is Prince Gurg. I'm having 3 plus years of work experience and worked on Red Hat, VMware, Windows, Google Cloud, PowerShell, Python, and Bash scripting. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn, and reach out to us on itesfund.com. Welcome back, everyone, to the Red Hat Learning Series of Decode ITES. In this lesson, we will gonna learn su and sudo commands in Linux, and this will be very helpful for you if you are working under production environment, and you can also touch the same under testing environments as well. Su command. The su short for substitute or switch user. This utility allows us to run commands with the privileges of another user, and by default, the root user. Using the SU is the simplest way to switch to the administrative account in the current login session. As we have discussed in our previous videos that due to the security, we should have disabled the SSH login for root. So this can be helpful. This is especially handy when the root user is not allowed to log into the system like we have already discussed through the SSH or using GUI Display Manager. The usage of su command. The general syntax of su command is su and then we can pass the options and the user and then the arguments. When invoked without any option, the default behavior of su is to run an interactive shell as root. Like if you mention su only, then it will gonna run as root. We will then be prompted to enter the root password and if authenticated, the user running the command temporary becomes root. The session shell and home environment variables are set from substitute users etc pass wd directory and the current directory is not changed. To confirm that from which user we are working on or which user is changed, use the who am I command. It will show the current user. And if you are running the commands of working on the terminal with root access and you just switch to root uh, using su command, it will mention root. The common options of su command are the most commonly used option when invoking the su is minus minus l and minus minus login this makes the shell a login shell with an environment very similar to real login and changes the current directory like sudo space minus if you want to run another shell instead of one defined in the passwd file use the minus s which is minus minus shell option for example, to switch to the root and to run the zsh shell, we would type su minus user bin zsh. To preserve the entire environment like home, shell, user and log name of the calling user, use the minus p which is for preserve the environment option. When the minus option is used, minus p is ignored. If you want to run a command as a substitute user without starting an interactive shell, use the minus C option which is for the command. For example, to invoke the ls minus l command as root, we would type su minus c ls minus l. To switch user to another user account, we can pass the username as an argument su. For example, to switch to the user, user1, we would type su space user1. Now we come with the sudo command. sudo allows a permanent user to execute a command as the super user 
or as another user which is lying under the environment. As specified in the sudoers file, the real and effective UID and GID are set to match those of the target user as specified in the passwd file. And the group vector is initialized based on the groups file unless the minus p option was specified. If the invoking user is root or if the target user is the same as the invoking one, no password is required. Otherwise, sudo requires that users authenticate themselves with the password by default. Also note that in the default configuration, this is the user's password, not the root password. Once a user has been authenticated, a timestamp is updated under the logs and the terminal and the user may then use sudo without a password for a very short period of time. Like for the 5 minutes unless it's overwritten in sudoers. When invoked as sudo edit, the minus e option described text is implied. Now uh, let's take a look at how sudo is linked with sudo's file. Although sudo is a very big concept and we will dig in uh, to that one in our coming videos and I'm just giving you a overview of su and sudo command so that you can start working with. Sudo determines who is an authorized user by consulting the file etc sudoers. By giving sudo minus v flag, a user can update the timestamp without running a command. The password prompt itself will also time out if the user's password is not entered within 5 minutes unless we have made the changes under the sudoers file. If a user who is not listed in the sudoers file tries to run a command via sudo, mail is sent to proper authorities as defined at configured time or in the sudoers file. As the default one is root, note that the mail will not be sent if an unauthorized user tries to run sudo with the minus l or minus v flags. This allows users to determine themselves whether or not they are allowed to use sudo. Like they are just verifying it. If sudo is done by root and the sudo underscore user environment variable is set, sudo will use this value to determine who the actual user is. This can be used by a user to log commands so sudo even when a root shell has been invoked. It also allows the minus e flag to remain useful even when being run via a sudo minus run script or a program. Note however that the sudo lookup is still done for root not the user specified by sudo underscore user. It can load both successful and unsuccessful attempts as well as error to syslog file, a file or both. By default, sudo will log via system or you can say the syslog tree, but this is changeable at the configuration time or via the sudo's file. So that's all for su and sudo and there must be some comparison between su and sudo uh, commands which will we, we will gonna discuss in the next video. So. Keep subscribed and stay tuned. If you are having any issues or queries, you can reach out to us by its1.com or you can comment over here. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, and comment our videos. Also, subscribe to our channel.